Ladies and gentlemen, this week, indoor football, we got a lot of things to go over. Um, a lot of championships happened on this weekend, and it started with the Elite Indoor Football Championship in which the Peach State Cats, they did beat the Southern Steam by like 30 points, I believe it was like 48-16, to win the EIF Championship down in Columbus. Uh, we'll be talking about another Columbus team here in a moment, um, but you know, congrats to Peach State. They they were the best team in the EIF all season long. In the AWFC, the American West Football Conference, the Tri-City Rush, they did it again. Second straight year, they won a championship. They beat Wenatchee Valley. I was watching some of this game last night. It went on into the wee hours in the morning. Yeah, it actually went on at like, at like 1 a.m. And like by the time the game was over. But Tri-City, they... They struggled a little bit, you know, in this game against the Skyhawks, but the Rush were able to get it out, put it away, 57-32. And in the AIFA Championship, the Tampa Bay Cyclones didn't show up as usual, which is, you know, to be expected. This team was supposed to play Mississippi earlier in the season, and, you know, like they, they've had some games where they were supposed to show up, and they did not show up. Uh, so instead of that, you know, the Alabama Empire, they played in the game earlier that day. I have no idea who they played earlier because they were supposed to play the Las Vegas Kings, but uh, I, I tried to find out, you know, something, something, you know, to see who the Empire played, but who knows who they played and who cares because their season is over as well, unless you count the ADAFL. But who cares about that league? Uh, but, but the actual AIFA championship, which involved the Las Vegas Kings, and the Mississippi Raiders, Mississippi Raiders easily take care of business there and win the AIFA. Mississippi is really the only team that did anything in this league this year, and they were rewarded with an undefeated season in a league where almost all the teams didn't even play, you know, the same amount of games combined as Mississippi, which is crazy. In the AFA Cup, the Wichita Force, they destroyed the Magnolia State Spartans 52-6 in the Cup game. This does not mean that, you know, the AFA has awarded a championship despite the fact that, you know, guys like, you know, guys inside the arena may believe. Um, that is not a championship game, I'm sorry. Uh, the West Texas Warbirds, they were the only team really to, you know, really have a whole season put together. And they beat up on the Arlington Longhorns last night as well. And their final game will be against that very same Mississippi Raiders team. So, a battle of two teams who are undefeated. A battle of teams, two teams who are technically really the champions of two leagues that split off and, you know, did their own thing. In the Federated Arena League, the Palmito Colts, they shut out the Georgia Line Lions. They won the FAL title. Easily took care of business there. Like, it was 40 to nothing. That game was live on YouTube. Um, you know, a lot of these games were live. Uh, the AIFJ Championship was on Twitter. The AFA Cup was streamed on Facebook. The EIF Championship was on YouTube. AWFC Championship on Facebook. So, everybody was streaming last night. So, if you wanted your fix of good indoor football content, you got it last night. And now we get to the big stuff. We get to the big boys. We get to the IFL first. Let's talk about the IFL right now. Massachusetts, despite the fact that they struggled last night, they clinched a home playoff game. Duke City had the fight in a game where, you know, it was crazy. It went down to the final seconds. And Duke City was able to clinch a playoff spot, you know, last night. Arizona, they played Vegas in their final game of the season today. They clinched home field throughout the first two rounds of the playoffs. And they will host, we know, one of the dates for the first round of the playoffs. And it will be Sunday, July 24th, which means... 
that, that this week in indoor football will be right after that game, I presume, unless there's another Sunday game on that day, which I probably don't think there will be. Um, we do know, again. We do know at least two of the playoff dates already. We know one will be July 24th, and the other will be July 30th, and that is based off of Arizona, the Rattlers, who have clinched home field throughout the first two rounds. Remember the final round, the IFL National Championship, formerly known as the United Bowl, will be in Vegas at the Dollar Loan Center, August 13th. 7 p.m. Central Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 Eastern. You know, it's going to be a good time. I cannot wait for all that. And in the NAL, last but not least, we got to talk about, you know, the San Antonio Gunslingers. They were eliminated on that beautiful Friday night. They were eliminated, unfortunately for them. You know, they fought hard against the Columbus Lions, but they were indeed eliminated. And that helped the Albany Empire and the Jacksonville Sharks. Jacksonville Sharks beat up on Carolina. They beat them up pretty badly. And they and those two teams have clinched. So really, the only thing left to do in the NAL now is to see, you know, what in the world's going to happen in the final couple weeks of the season. Because really, you know, San Antonio is basically eliminated. Orlando's still technically in it. But they're pretty much on the verge of being eliminated as well. So really, our four teams in the AAL playoffs are pretty much set. It's just going to be, you know, the order. And right now, Carolina's still on top with Albany right behind and Jacksonville at three, Columbus at four. So right now, things in the NAL are a little bit weird. You know, it's been a great season for the NAL, I think. You know, again, an off season of uncertainty. They turned it around and had a good season. The IFL, there's still two spots left, and it comes down to the final week of the regular season, as it usually does. So, next weekend, Friday night first, Iowa Quad, Sweet, Quad City. That's going to be one of the games. One of the games of next weekend, North Arizona at Duke City. That game will not matter, um, you know, too much. It won't matter too much because Northern Arizona and Duke City could face each other again. You know, they could face each other again in the first round of the playoffs. Two sides play in Bay Area. Sioux Falls, Frisco is, you know, another important game. So all five games in the IFL next week are very, very important. And combined with three NAL games the next two weeks, it's going to be interesting. See how everything goes. Because, you know, you know, the playoffs, the IFL has two spots left, so it's going to be either Iowa, it's going to be either be Quad City or Sioux Falls. Now the tiebreakers did work out, you know, last night to eliminate Sioux Falls because... You know, Iowa, they did win, but Sioux Falls also beat Green Bay last night. Um, you know, that, that was big. Um, the three and the four are really not set in the West either, so, you know, that's going to be a big thing next week. Those, the, the positioning of Duke City and Tucson is not set. We do, again, we do know that Massachusetts and Frisco are hosting in the East, but we just don't know who they're going to play. We do know the four teams out West, we just don't know the positioning yet. So, Arizona gets to enjoy a week off and wait for the chaos to unfold as we get to the end of the IFL season, the last two weeks of the AL season. And that's, that's pretty much it. Aside from the Mississippi-West Texas game next week, it's going to be all IFL and NAL from here on out. So, congratulations to all the champions that won their championship games in their respective leagues. And I hope some of these teams, you know, actually get together and do something next year. I know some guy, I know some guys been contacting some teams and stuff like that. You know, you know, trying to figure out what the plans are for next year. And I hope we have a more cohesive season next year as we get you know further and further 
you know, you know, in the August, this is the countdown, August 13th, we're just a month away now, a little over a month away from crowning our final two champions in the indoor arena game, so, until next weekend, which will be next Saturday night, presumably, I presume it'll be next Saturday night, when we come back to you, um, y'all take care, if you watched any of these other championships, I hope you had a good time watching them, like I did, and I'll see you all next Saturday night at around 11 p.m. Central Time. Take care, everybody.